Hello, everyone. This is Dio Morales, your host of the Gold Squadron Podcast, and we're coming to you live from round four of the Denver System Open. Super excited to have you here. My co-host is... Ace the Graph of the Back to Dials Podcast. Dion, thank you very much for having me on this stream. Uh, it has been a fantastic three rounds of X-Wing this morning. We're looking forward to a fantastic fourth uh, we got to bring, bring you up a little bit. The oh, people, the people there need we go. you. The they want you. The people need Asa. Perfect. Uh, on the left side, we have Darren Granger, a uh, lovely Englishman with yes. five <laughs> Trade Federation <laughs> drones <laughs> with energy shell charges. <laughs> and then the Mar Darth Maul hate. Grievous Scimitar. R2 or K2B4, excuse me. Uh, there is a lot of hate here. Let's... Uh, <laughs> Yep. All right. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And then on the right, we have Mike Winnek bringing that beef back. Two gray squadron bombers, ion cannon turrets, proton bombs, and veteran turret gunner, a warden squadron pilot. Actually, two warden squadron pilots with similar loadouts, barrage rockets, mm -hmm. seismic charges, proton bombs, munitions, fail safe. One of them has Sabine Wren. Sabine back again. And then a Leia Organa on the other one. Well, well, no. So this has this is the Hi right, guys, we're still still working on the internet. We mm -hmm. almost got it. Our our guy here. What's his name again? Ryan. 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 Yes. He he, he is he our is, savior. He is working his butt off right now. We're like, let's try mm -hmm. this. Let's try, what, do you have this available? So hats off to the Sheridan. They really are trying to get us uh, hooked up here. Absolutely. He's not He's not the IT guy. The no. IT guy isn't here. Um, of course he isn't, right? <laughs> so stereotypical. Be too easy. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Sorry, any IT guys out there. We're just joking around, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, so let, let's look at these lists right over yes. here. We have the uh, Scimitar and Trade Federation blob uh, that's been fairly popular and very, very powerful. Darth Maul with all those Trade Federation drones and energy shell charges can really do some work. But the interesting part of this list, I think, is Mike Winnick's take on Rebel Beef with two Warden yep. Squadron K-Wings. There we do, of course, have Leia. But we also have a lot of bombs in Sabine Wren. With all of those shieldless, swarmy ships on the table, we have a very fantastic opportunity for Proton Bombs to do some serious work. All right, we do have all of those Trade Federation drones marked off uh, so that we know which is which. I'm going to go ahead and get, get some stuff for our side so it's easier for us. Going here. But uh, so you see there, we got we have white, orange, pink, green, and yellow. yellow. Trade Federation drone doing a two bank and a barrel roll, not linking the calculate, it looks like. In fact, no, there it is. There he is linking the calculate. I have a feeling that the rest of the formation is probably going to follow suit as they come down here through the rocks. There's a two bank as well. They all want to stay v relatively, uh, relatively close to get good weight of fire in. All of those energy shell charges could waste an ion cannon, gray, or even a warden in one round of combat. The thing he wants to keep in mind is that uh, those Trade Federation drones at Initiative One will be out PS'd by the gray squadron bombers right, and the shot. wardens. All right, let's give this a shot. So, if anything happens, we are trying. To, we we we're trying a better internet. We're trying to. All right.
Ryan, the hero of the internet, I think we we are good. I think we might be good for the whole rest of the day. And maybe Fingers even crossed. to maybe even tomorrow. Maybe even tomorrow. We got some serious cable taping to do after this. <laughs> oh my <laughs> god. Yeah. Fire hazard all over the place. Absolutely. But thank you so much to Ryan of the Sheraton down here in the Denver Tech Center. Uh, you've been absolutely incredible. Let's hope this stays. Now, what did we miss? I don't, I don't know. What, what is X-Wing? What are we doing? What is X-Wing? Uh, you know, not a whole ton. It looks like we just had some droids getting into position, coming down through the center gap in those rocks uh, from the top of the board. The Y-Wings curving down towards the bottom as well as the K-Wings with their arcs faced side to side for best coverage. All right, guys. Just tooling up the edge. I'm going to be silent here for a little bit, just trying to get some background things reset as we do um, as get we everything going move here. Move over, yeah. Yeah. All right, measuring for shots right there. Everybody's out of range, and we go back to dials. I'm, I'm okay with this. I'm not ready. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not ready. <laughs> there's, there's no stream pull for this one, guys. Yeah. I don't think we're, we're not going to have the time. Thank you to everybody who has stayed with us. These problems are very frustrating, but uh, we're glad to be back. For good this time, we hope. So far, so, far, so, so good. Far, so good. Strong connection. All right, we're going to, I usually, I'm not honestly a huge fan of having the, uh, the little ships on the side, personally, but we're going to put them there so that we can get our colors going here Yeah. for everybody else. We got white, orange, Next, what, what's the next one down? Uh, next one down would be red. Is it? Pink. Pink, yes. Close enough. Wait, orange, pink. Uh, green. Mm -hmm. Next one. Green, and uh, the last one has to be yellow. Yes. Yes, indeed. Any second now. Pop, pop, come on. Come on. on back. This is expert and uh, engaging commentary, I know. <laughs> Ryan and Dion, fix the stream. <laughs> there we go. We did it. Very colorful today. Very colorful. And then we also got we also got the uh, the K wings color yeah, color and too. those Y wings. Yep. So we got a we got a red and a orange there. Red and orange. Red and orange Y-Wings, but I just want to see which one is which. I put little dots on the cards as well. Looks like orange is the top one there. I think probably red, orange. Yes. <laughs> well, that's how we're going to do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. so. That's what we're going to do. Which one did you think was, was uh, red? Or, uh, red at the bottom. Red at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So this one would be orange. Actually, I think that one might. Is this number red or is this number orange? Oh, it, it's orange. It's definitely orange. There yeah. it is. Again, those of you who are watching in the future are probably like, oh, these guys so lame. These guys we're, we're, suck. We're, these guys are so bad. Listen, guys, we, we, we're trying to fix this <laughs> live. so hard. I, think, I really <laughs> appreciate everybody's patience. You guys are amazing. Um, if you haven't watched a live stream, this is this is some of the fun stuff we have to deal with. Mm -hmm. But uh, we we will survive. And then all the way there. Green is up top. Green. Boop. Green is definitely up top. Boop. Boop. Green and the other one is pink as well. Okay. So. All right. And then we have the two K wings are at the top. Go ahead and rearrange that. This is all the stuff that we normally have time to do before the match starts when we're not desperately begging with the gods of the internet. <laughs> <laughs> all right, I think we should be good. Mm -hmm. That looks sweet. We got our, our markers out there. I'm going to go ahead and make sure that all the other things are, uh, are active to make sure, you know, if people sub, that that comes up. So you might see some things blink on and off. Because I want people to be recognized for their, their contributions. So Asa, since you yes. know what, let's go ahead. Let's uh let's what is 
Do you know off the top of your head what K2B is? Yeah, so K2B4, I was actually hoping you might ask about that. K2B4 is one of the most interesting of the tactical relay upgrades. Uh, his ability basically states, while a friendly ship at range 0 to 3 defends, if you are not in the attacker's bullseye, you can spend a calculate to add an evade result. So it turns those, uh, turns those calculates into evades, uh, which is very useful. It's a very defensive swarm. Um, however, I've never found it to be quite as effective as Kraken mm -hmm. or as TV-94 as well. Um, in my opinion, the, the vulture droids are generally very disposable, so the more that I can do to keep them offensive and to get as much damage out of them as possible, mm -hmm. um, uh, as, as possible, the, uh, you know, they can before they die. That's what I was trying to do. Yeah. As you were pulling that up, I did miss a couple important points. Uh, you add the evade results unless the attacker chooses to gain, gain, a, gain strain a strain token. Uh, yeah, strain token. Uh, so we could see some strain tokens. This might be the first, the first streamed premier event strain token for Gold Squadron. A this record. A record coming off of that internet. I'm, I'm glad <laughs> to have some positive things in the can That's right, right here. So what do you think of this engagement uh, that Darren is pulling through here? This uh, center rock is going to prove difficult for him, I mm -hmm, think. Mm -hmm. He probably was hoping that Mike might uh, might go up the gut Be here. Be coming in this direction. Yeah, but uh, not not taking the bait. But at least it looks like he's probably going to have some range three shots, maybe. It's uh, possible. We'll see what the Y-Wings do. Maul there also staying far out to the side of those Y-Wings. Uh, not, I mean, that's that's not where he wants to be if he wants K2B4 to be triggering because that's yeah. range 0 to 3. It is very effective to get Maul to come back, uh, you know, and to be, uh, to essentially create a, a pincer and, and, and catch him from both sides. We'll see where, where he brings those. Uh, and I'm especially, con uh, especially interested in where the Y-Wings are going because, as you pointed out, Mike is being very, very conservative right. uh, in his engagements right here. Are these both are these players both undefeated? Uh, yes, point? Both, both undefeated at this oh. point. Um, you know, one, one way you guys can help me out is on our posts that we put for the, um, uh, for the stream, you guys can like, hey, Gold Squadron was able to fix the internet. So uh, if, you, if you could let the people know out there, like, hey, guys, if you were watching the stream, that'd be great. We're back. We're back. Everything's good. Thanks to the heroism of, of Ryan. Ryan. Of Ryan and his gigantic cable. <laughs> his gigantic <laughs> cable that connected to another gigantic cable yep. to get us the one Ethernet port on the <laughs> other the side of the room that, that is working. Works. All right, we have a uh, barrel roll, actually, after the K-turn there. Leia likely triggering. Mm -hmm. uh, they're a Leia trigger that we missed um, for K-turns from those Y-Wings. That's a very interesting maneuver. Uh, what are you trying? What is he trying to accomplish right here? Um, sorry, I was trying to <laughs> oh, read something right. else on the other side. Um, Leia trigger... I mean, yeah, b barrel rolls are uh, are good. <laughs> Just <laughs> very insightful. So what I think he's trying to do here is give himself a little bit of extra room so that next turn, when these vultures come around, he's got room now to either like turn around and get the turret while possibly being out of arc of a couple of them. Sure. I can definitely see that. Mike also is gives the space for the K-Wings. Mm -hmm. Mike is doing a really good job. This is obviously an opening. I think that he's practiced by the way that he's yep. flying this. Um, he's got a very practiced hand in here. We are marking that Y-Wing. So we can move the K-Wing. Hey, <laughs> there it is in the dice box. Has he done some <laughs> highlighting there? <laughs> Beautiful. All right. Now that, we're, I mean, now that we're back, we might as well have some fun that, things, that's right? That's right. I'm, I'm trying to get back in a good mood because I would uh -huh. say when, when the in, when I'm oh, having oh no issues, oh no he picked up the he marker. picked up the marker oh god oh I have done that it's so many, so many times, times before there are rolling back the K wing there to use it as a visual aid yep that's why I like to use the actual stream markers when possible or the actual the, position markers whenever possible and not yeah. templates it happens. then I because then I don't get confused hey. Exactly, it happens to the best of us. Yep. I think I think everybody has probably done that once or twice. That looks pretty darn solid. Yeah, I think they put it in a. That seems good. Yeah, pretty much exactly the right position. Anybody here watching from the UK cheering on your boy Darren? Mm -hmm. Anybody? 
Maul coming forward hot. He's going to take some barrage rockets to the face right here. I think this is a good initial engagement from Mike. Oh, yeah. He, he, li he likes this. Double, double shots here. Mm-hmm. You know what? This is an opportunity. I know that we couldn't get that actual pull up, but let's go ahead and uh, who, who are you cheering for in this match? Let uh -huh. us know in the chat. <laughs> I'll let that one go. I deserve that. No, you do deserve I deserve that. that. That was me. <laughs> Fun walk, you, you, you get one, okay? You get one. You get one. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I deserve it. That's on me. Oh man, a lot of lot of Rogers in the chat. Yeah. There. Roger, Roger, or for the mm -hmm. rebellion. <laughs> and there is a target lock being put down onto the green K wing. Green K wing is the one with Sabine Wren mm -hmm. right there. You got to get that Sabine off the board. That thing can be and nasty. With so many, with so many ships, uh, with so many ships that are success, uh, susceptible to bombs. Target right lock there. has the force available. Does Let me it? Go ahead and spend that. Three hits, and gets an evade. Two Takes. damage onto Green K Wing. Now, if I were Darth Maul, I'd just go ahead and dump the rest of my force and yep. attack the other one. Or you might want to keep it for uh, for defense. He's got though. one die. And hate, grr. But yeah, you're right. You got one die and hate. I would just, I would just do it. Just be it's, as aggressive it's, it's as possible. It's the beef again, right? You got to get as much damage in as fast oh, as possible. Although rocket. something like that, he is in bullseye, so he's going to dump two more charges to re-roll everything. Spend, Spend that focus. That's going to be three hits. There's an eyeball. He, look, he's probably going to spend the force to... Oh, uh, to, you know uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> uh, there is... He's, he's actually activated General Grievous as well. Okay. Uh, to only take one damage from that attack. And uh, Hate will regenerate one force. Now we have another Barrage Rocket coming in for the other K-Wing. Focus, hit, and a crit. Spend that focus. That's all going to come right back in. Another hot green die. Two more shields. Darth Maul down to one shield after the first round. Oh no, my shield. <laughs> and now we have a Y-Wing shooting range uh, two obstructed through there. Let's find out. Well, well I guess we'll find out how many uh, dice they roll. Yep. Yes, it's gonna be range three. And it is obstructed. And two. getting nothing right there. A whole pile of dice. Yeah, so that means veteran turret gunner. It's mm -hmm. not going to matter because uh, ion turret is only range one to two. We Checking have from just out of range, oh. just out of arc there. Let's check that uh, arc from the rear. Looks like he might just be clipping that. Now, just so measuring from number two, that's orange over there. Looks like he's got a shot. Orange energy is firing shell. his energy shell charges. Range three obstructed, but a shot to shot hit and a crit. There it is. Takes Take two. Goes through. On to Y Wing number red. <laughs> Shields are down. Number red forever. We need uh -huh. to make a t shirt, number red. <laughs> All right. Looks like white is going to be firing here on the K Wing. Range three obstructed. Only one focus result. He can spend that calculate to change that to a crit. Takes it. Takes it indeed. Well, let's see. Yep, there it is. Takes it. One crit on K-Wing Pink. Man, it's so good to see that little green square down there in the bottom right. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it feels so good. <laughs> so for those of you, if you've never done any type of streaming, the... Um, the program that we use uh, basically has a little square that says you it tells you how your internet things are going. It tells you how screwed you are. Yeah, and and you know sometimes it'll dip down to yellow and you're like, oh crap. Then it goes back to green. You're like, oh everything's fine. That red man, that is the 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 worst thing. Makes my heart sink every time. All right. So as we go back to dials here after the first round of engagement, uh, do you think that one way to tell decisive edge right there? No, I mean. <sighs> Getting getting three shields off of Maul definitely helps in the um, in the overall scheme of things. But with those vultures coming in and these 
Rebel ships only having one agility, if Darren can focus one of them down and get them down early with, right. without losing Maul, I think that definitely starts to flip it in his, uh, his advantage. That's one of those things that the, that the Separatists really have against. They they've actually have generally very good matchups against the Rebel Beef because they can put so many guns on the table. So yeah. many. We have one, two, three, four, five, six three-dice attacks on the table on Darren's side uh, when you count those energy shell charges being active. Mm -hmm. Uh, and, and so that amount, that weight of fire is overwhelming to a lot of lists. And you're able to put, if you're able to put all that on target, which Darren looks like he is poised to do mm -hmm. with a formation turned down towards the center of the board here, um, you might be seeing some of those poor focused rebel ships just go so down. The hard down, two down. doesn't get around that rock for white, but right? The hard three would. They have hard three on they their They do. Dial? Uh, super weird dial. It's so good. Like, well, I, I mean, I wish they had white three banks. But uh, unfortunately, they are red. So it's tough to engage uh, from a from a sharp angle uh, with the with the vulture droids. But it's something that they can definitely do. Trying to get our table audio back so that we can hear the players. Yeah, seem to have lost that in in all of in all, all of, of the, the kerfuffle. Things. Yeah. In any case, these K wings I think are in sort of the most interesting position out of any of them. Uh, Maul here, they they're sort of in position to block Maul, but they want to get nice primary shots or barrage rocket shots if they can. Uh, try to PS kill a vulture before it can get some energy shell charges off by turning up towards the center of the board. However, I don't know, they're not super well positioned to do that, and by turning in, they expose themselves to fire. So it's another it's another great game where we have those interesting choices, uh, choices that come with a lot of risk that aren't very safe. We also have a great opportunity, perhaps, for Maul to then 5K behind one of these, uh, behind one of those uh, K wings. Just get right behind them, maybe take up a, a bomb or two, but who really cares? Maul will be able to shrug some of that off. Uh, right. AC Doug, ACS Douglas, the energy shell charges are crossed out because those are the ones that have fired them. Mm -hmm. uh, they can, of course, reload them later in the round, but we haven't seen any reloading and it, and just it is, yet. It is important to note because there were some people trying to shenanigans. Mm -hmm. If you reload you an energy shell, disabled. you get a weapons disabled. Because the reload action in the book specifies to Give perform you, a reload, and then right. reload is described as getting, getting the a decept weapons disabled. Correct. Hey, look at this! Look at this uh, bomb template that he's got right there with that big old magnetized stick. That's neat. That is very neat. And there's a proton bomb coming in from the Y wing to catch Maul. Great bomb drop. Yep. So he's getting at least one bomb this turn. Next turn, he's probably going to get a couple more. Uh, we're seeing another proton bomb from the K-Wing as well, preempting that 5K that I have mentioned. He's covering a lot of bases. If Maul does end up doing that K-Turn and sitting right around in there, mm -hmm. then he's going to take some serious proton bomb. It's obvious to me that Mike has really thought about this engagement. Yeah, agreed. Um, and, is, uh, and, and is very, very adept at using those bombs as well. Here come the droids. Roger, roger. There's there three hard There's we talked hard. about. Easily gets around the rock. And probably just dropping a calculate. Has the option yeah. to barrel roll calculate if he wants. I, I could see a barrel roll pilot left maybe. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, I, I like where he is. I think, I mean, the 1K would fit right there if he needed to turn around. True, true. Uh, so I, I, I really don't hate where he is right now. And, in fact, there it is. There's no barrel roll linked in there. We have another three turn from number red. But that's number pink. Excuse me. Sorry, yep. there's no red. <laughs> Droids don't see red. They can't get angry. Correct. Correct. 
And this is the kind of firepower that those droids can bring with if they're all facing the same direction. Now oh, we have a yeah. ton I mean, of energy scary, shell charges man. coming right in. There's a barrel roll link calculate. Uh, that's it's a great to, maneuver. Trying, trying to cover to, up the Y wings right, maneuver trying to possibilities here. Right hand, a right turn uh, or, or bank from those Y wings. Perhaps trapping them, uh, and if the K wings follow suit, perhaps trapping somebody in their own proton bombs. Yeah, that. Oopsie. <laughs> and of course, yellow following suit. Another three hard turn. Probably going to barrel roll calculate as well, uh, in order to give space to orange there at the top. There it is. And here comes Orange, kind of thinking of, all right, forward two. I like mm -hmm. it. He has the hard, the hard one, so he can he can get in the, back in the formation next turn. If only they had a three bank, that might have been able to clear the rock. <laughs> no but banks, again, no that's banks red. And, and this is where straight. this is where Kraken would come in handy, right? Because you can bank all of those uh, calculate tokens from last round, and be be very able to to take those maneuvers, to take those uh, talent rolls, one Ks. Uh, three banks and still have a calculate token available to you. Uh, link barrel roll or, or calculate link barrel roll from green. We've got some wide set arcs here. No matter where they're going, they're going to take some energy shell charges unless the K wings go three bank to the left. All right, setting up possibly a bomb drop for next turn if he doesn't slam out. Actually, he doesn't even have the hard the bank three to the right mm -hmm. anyway. So, nope, nope, nope. We're rotating the turret to the rear. And then the second K-Wing. Oh, no, this is the Y-Wing. Excuse me. Y-Wing doing a one-bank bumping into white. All right, so there, there's that block that Darren mm -hmm. was going for. Red is the shieldless one as well, the one with some damage on it. So uh, being bumped there, is he going to be in range of that proton bomb? Mm, let's, let's, I, mm. it's, it's close. No, I don't think so. Out. That, no, that, that, that gives out. you that very obvious, like, no, mm -hmm. not going to happen. But the K-Wing's going to take it. The yep, K-Wing, there it is. I think he might even be, oh, nah, on the rock, maybe? The width of the base. It's so weird. Uh, no, he's no. fine. Okay, he's not on. The, he's not on the rock, but he does not have a focus to fire barrage rockets. He uh, is taking a shot from proton bomb, and he's taking at least one, two, three, four, five, <laughs> or four. Excuse me, three dice attacks, some range one droids, some energy shell charges. Uh, that that K wing is is in a tough position. Let's yep. see where Maul goes to follow that up. After, of course, Y wing yellow. Maul might we'll do it. Just a one bank. I'd love to see like a two sloop. I would, I would yeah. down towards the bottom of the board right yeah. there. That would be beautiful. Mike here probably hoping that he can do something like kill that before it fires. There's a two bank right on top of the proton bomb. All right, might. Oh, it's gonna be close. Is it gonna bump? That fits, baby. That is beautiful. Let's take, take, barely. Taking a bomb, but he's going to have a fantastic and shot. And no, no rock. Mm -hmm. And one shield left to absorb that proton bomb. Mm -hmm. Taking a target lock on the K-Wing right in front of him. And the K-Wings dish out the majority of the damage in this list. And so. they're worth the majority of the points. Yep. And they've got things like Leia and Sabine, so. So, oh, let's. That's going to hit. That's going to hit that. That poor Y-Wing Orange takes a shield off. That bomb does not get Darth Maul. Then the, the other one underneath. certainly will. Pink will go ahead and take a shield. The pink K-Wing. Uh, yes. And then also Maul, which is his last shield. Mm -hmm. And he's going to use the jam off of Sabine. Let's get rid of that target To get lock. rid of that. So if you're not familiar with Sabine, uh, it's definitely a card you should probably read. Uh -huh. Like, look at the card. And like I would bring it up, but it's going to end up right in the middle of the screen. So I don't want to bring it up right here. And be ready uh, for it when you see it once or twice yeah. like this. Uh, we got a console fire. Uh, looks like it did hit that gray. Okay. So we got a console fire in on the gray and one more hull down. And that's going to trigger this turn. He's going to have yes, to roll. Gray and red. That's the red one, right?
I gotta say, I think Darren came out ahead on that bomb. He sure, he sure <laughs> did. All right, here we go. Range one. That's a That's lot of paint. We're gonna go ahead and spend one force. What target lock? I didn't exactly. need it. Three hits and a Three crit. Three hits and a crit. One die coming in from the K-Wing. One evade. And uh, K-Wing Pink takes two hits and a crit. Yep. The critical hit is a loose stabilizer. Loose stabilizer. So loose stabilizer is uh, if you execute a non-straight maneuver, take a damage. And repair the card, yeah. yes. Uh, it's it's a really rough, rough card. Especially That's for slamming ships. Yes, yeah. absolutely. So um, Maul once again electing not to double tap. I, I might have double tapped that. Uh, into you, the Y-Wing? Yeah, into uh, Y-Wing Yellow right there. Just just put as much damage out as you possibly uh, can. The 8-bit deity asking, are those dots easy to take off? They're super easy. They're very light glue. You can, mm. literally can flick them off. But they're, they're in a spot where they're not going to be touched while playing. So One critical hit coming in onto Maul, and that is a wounded, wounded pilot. Wounded pilot. Uh, after you perform an action, you roll a die on a hit or crit, take a stress, right? Yeah. At least Maul's got four, so he could yep. likely get away with it. And then, of course, hate comes back. We have one more hit coming damage. in on the Maul. Back up to full force with hate. That's, see, that's why I think he just he just dumps that. Just dump that. Yep. You know, you're going to get it back for, for some of your defensive rolls. So dump it while you have it and double tap. Mm -hmm. Attacking twice is good. We all know that. <laughs> Look at me, I'm the Dengar now. Yeah, and interestingly, <laughs> Mike is electing to not shoot uh, that vault, any of those vultures right there, not getting them off the board before they can fire. He does have a couple of double tap Y wings left, mm -hmm. um, but I think it would have been wise maybe to fire with them first instead of the K wing uh, that has been fired upon. So, checking arc here. Gray, red look like firing into yellow. Range one. Console fire goes off. Takes a hit. And gray red is down to four hit points. Man, I wish I could hear what they were saying. I know. Uh, <laughs> we'll try to fix that in between this uh -huh. round. Uh, always, always something. Yes, indeed. Uh, we got two, two hits, hits coming in from that Y wing. Got it, baby. Nutties. It's 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 annoying when a Tie Fighter does that. It's even more annoying when and a Vulture here does is that. Here is the two double crits. tap. Two crits. <laughs> <laughs> the lovely Englishman's really happy about that. <laughs> oh man. Oh my word. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> back to back, baby. <laughs> back to back, Natty evades from a vulture droid. Yeah, like, Come I, on. Like, I had a comment like loaded about like using uh, B2 in this situation. Like, oh, this is why you bring. Like, never mind. Don't even yeah, never use mind. It. Don't even need it. Uh, Although crit. I did forget that that was well, that was an option. Hit crit coming in. All right, uh, there, there we goes. go. So here's where you calculate. Uh, probably grab his calculate yes. uh, for at least one of those, and then. There it is. There it is. We're just going to go ahead and take, take a crit. The crit in order to keep those energy shell charges yep. active. We have a fuel, fuel leak. leak. That matters with only three hole. Big time. Mm -hmm. On to pink. And two hits, it looks like, from the Jorsal turret. Double tap, take Got one. one more. So he gets to live. Mm hmm. Going to be able to get one shot off before he goes. That's all they need. Most of the time, that is all they need. All right, so Darren asking some type of questions that we'd love to know what uh -huh. he's saying, you know, one day. <laughs> you remember, remember the good days when we could hear people? Yeah. Oh, that was so nice. <laughs> And the funny thing is, it looks like I can, like the audio was working for a second when I, like they could hear it. Yeah. Oh, thank you very much. That's going to take a second to reload mm -hmm. all the late comments. All right, we got energy shell charges coming into. Ooh, oh, hit, hit crit. That is so rough. Hit, hit and a crit. crit onto Warden Pink from Green's energy shell charges. What's that crit? Let's take a look. 
Quinn is a fuel leak. Fuel leak, all right. He's got two hull left. And then we've got the range one shot from the unmodified. The, oh my hit, hit. god! Oh my goodness! Uh, that's I think that Warden K wing is gone. goes down. Some uh, don't usually like to comment on dice, but there is some serious some variance, variance in Darren's favor uh, this round with four for four greens, <laughs> and then six for six reds. Uh, that's the that's the kind that's the kind of variance that starts to win games. Yeah. Then we've got just a pile of damage cards. Now, e even even with that, let's talk about some of the, the things that Darren did to get himself in this position. Absolutely. Right? So he was able to get the block there. He came in. He covered the ground in which the K-Wing would have come in and possibly slammed away. Right. He cut off all the approaches. So you put yourself in those situations to get those hot dice. Absolutely. Uh, and even if Mike had killed one of those energy shell charges yep. before they had fired, he still got three more in the can. They're all facing in the right direction. Uh, we have... Probably coming in against one of those Y wings, two Hit hits it, and a crit. crit. Likely onto gray red. These are by the by the by the way. These are the uh, the stream dice. Mm -hmm. These are yeah. <laughs> if you're if two you're hits wondering, and a crit there. Crit is a damaged sensor, sensor array. ray, gray red. Uh, one hull remaining. Then we have vulture droid yellow. Just firing his energy shell charges. All right, there he goes. Spends the calculate for hit crit. I don't think that was energy shell. I think that was just a range one. Yeah. And, and that's uh, going to do it is, for red. Red is down. Wow, huge a really, turn. Really huge turn for Darren, uh, putting him extraordinarily solidly into the lead. 101 points to Mike Winex, 52. <laughs> There's some uh <laughs> Yeah, I see this is actually a, a scheme uh -huh. uh, similar to like professional sports where they'll like like oh we're going to we're going to push this towards offense, you know? Yeah. <laughs> those special special British dice. No, they're the special they're, British dice. Those are, those are 100% Chinese made. Yep. <laughs> American, Full of bubbles. Um, American-owned dice. <laughs> the dice of Gold Squadron. Indeed. So with no ships down on Darren's side, two ships off the board on Mike's, uh, he's still got some firepower to bring down Vulture Droids. I think he's got the firepower to take down Maul. You're going to get those pull them aside for his next match. Yeah. Um, people asking, uh, do you make people? So th it, is, it is a new thing now. Basically, if you agree to play on stream, you're agree agreeing to use all the components that we have available. Um, I know that some people get weird about dice, but they're just dice. And mm -hmm. honestly, f for for the cameras to work for the dice, that's why we use it. Yeah, there, so is, there is no way that any of those like clear or black dice show up on a blue screen dice cam. It right. just doesn't happen. And it's... It's harder to say, oh, you can't use the white or black dice, which both are terrible for, for, for blue screening. Um, but you can use the other one. It's just, it's just easier to blank right. and just say, hey, just use these. Mm -hmm. um, and then both players yeah. are forced into using the same fair pool of dice. Exactly. Like, there's no question about, like, mm -hmm. oh, he brought weird dice. Like, which is something that I think should happen yeah. anyway, but I don't make floor rules. That's Neither does anybody else. So yeah. that is <laughs> Exactly. These vulture droids are just hungry for more blood right oh, yeah, now. No, they're no. they're gonna. I feel like they're just about to glom onto this Y wing, like flies, and send it to the bottom of the sea. <laughs> Somebody saying, if I were Dion, uh, if I were Darren, I would be buying those dice from Gold Squadron. <laughs> sure, <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> uh, no, here's the thing. If I were Mike, I would be buying those dice from Gold Squadron. That, that's very true. DGS then is correct. You do always have the option of choosing a dice pool in any game that you play. Mm -hmm. It's just 
never usually done. Right. Uh, so where where is Maul heading right now? Because uh, we can't really 5K because of that rock in the way, that middle finger rock. I mean, sloop. Yeah, I think sloop? You, you, you sloop because the wine wing is going to be coming forward. You have the space to come this way. Mm -hmm. Should be fine. I mean, it's. I, I think he's that, that Y wing is going to toss a bomb out there if he expects that. Is taking a yeah. proton bomb worth that positioning? I mean, what what can you do to avoid a bomb in this situation? I don't think there is just a spot. disengage. Like that that's the only place. Right, so so the bomb goes some somewhere here, right? Mm -hmm. So you end up with a range one bubble. That's a very terrible bubble. Looks like an egg. Yeah. <laughs> Sunny you side get up, range baby. Range one egg. <laughs> um, anyway, you, you end up with you end up with a circle down here. Uh, that's an old whatever. Uh -huh. You know what I mean. So I don't know if there is a move that he has that gets him out, except maybe a one forward and barrel rolling to the left. I mean, that's that's kind of what I'm thinking too. If if he just if he just goes softly up towards the top of the board, even if he does run into this Y wing and not you know not get an action, not get yeah. a shot, those vulture droids are going to do per plenty of damage on their own, uh, and then that allows him to sloop out in this direction uh, and get to the side of the bombers, which is exactly where you want to be engaging uh, when you come at bomber. So. If he's got a, if he feels like he's got a couple turns to spare, I think that might be the play. Otherwise, I think the sloop might be worth it. Mm -hmm. You know, you know what? How about how about this though, Asa? Yeah. What if maybe the five K is the move? You say, you know what? Just go right Just onto go, that I'll, rock. I'll take, I'll take the rock. I'm avoiding a crit. Uh -huh. I have a fifth, only a fifty percent chance of getting damaged, and most likely the wine wing can't shoot me. That's true, and most likely the K wing can't shoot yeah. him either. I think the 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 choice there is maybe the maybe the 5k is the right move, but it is certainly the wrong move if he thinks that it will be going yeah. across it next turn Very as well. Um, so it's entirely possible. But here we have a two turn from Vulture Pink there going for the block again. Yep. Calculate. Roger, roger. Who still has shell charges up? That pink one, I believe, does, because I think he just fired primary last round. I think yellow does as well. One, two, the third one up. One, two, yeah, pink. Pink still got it. Pink's green has been uh, used. We can't quite see yellow because he's just off the board. Yeah. Two straight calculate from yellow. One turn and a bump. Yep from white right there, uh, requesting that they use the lined templates there mm -hmm. so that they can more accurately gauge the arc yeah, or how the arc turns around. Yeah, one hearts are always really, really strange. And mm -hmm. like the the lines have really helped with the one hearts. Oh, so much. I, I think that's, that's probably the, out of all the maneuvers the one that really makes the biggest difference. Yeah. That box is still green. Ryan, you've done good work. Ryan, hero. He is a hero. Gonna buy that man a drink. That's c correct. <laughs> he can't probably take it because he's, he's on duty, but. I didn't mean right now. <laughs> I'm gonna invite him to whatever we're doing tonight. That's right. <laughs> Ryan, th he, we're, we're gonna put him in a chair and, and, and lift him up a few times. Absolutely. Bunch of calculates coming in from orange and green. And it is important to remember that White does have calculates available to him. We're using the network calculation ship ability that all those yes. vultures have. A two straight from the Y wing. He will be blocked, I, but that's a fairly solid position to be blocked. I think he's getting blocked into the yellow. Yes, he'll fit in between there. Just using the other ship. Oh, maybe mm -hmm. not. Maybe not. Oh, no. that's gonna be that's gonna be lit on pink. And that is quite unfortunate. Now he's gonna be taking a lot of damage. Don't even know. Don't even don't don't don't, don't engage. <laughs> don't engage. <laughs> that's that's a, that's a really good life advice. Never engage <laughs> Twitch chat. <laughs> Seeing if he fits in there. Look at that. Does it? It looks like he does actually fit. There it is. Absolutely lovely, and that is that is if if, if that wiping survives, it is a perfect position to drop a bomb next round. I mean, right in the middle of that swarm, right? Two turn from the K wing. Two turn slam. All right, so no shots this turn, but just trying to get that arc relevant for next turn. 
Leia is dead, but Sabine is still active. So let's see where Maul goes. Sabine could do some work against these vultures. Absolutely. There indeed is the two sloop. So Maul will be taking that proton. He'll be taking uh, some sort of token from Sabine. Do you know what's left? Because he jammed off. So we still have a tractor, tractor and an which ion, right? She doesn't want tractor. Uh, ion tra and stress. Stress. And stress. I would, stress. I, would, I would pop the stress down there. Yep. You're absolutely right. Measuring so. that bomb to the uh, vulture. It looks like it's just out. Yep. Pulling the proton off. Darth Maul will take a uh, crit of some kind. Uh, that uh, That's not useful. <laughs> that's not useful. <laughs> Damn it, sensor array, maybe. It's kind of maybe what it looked that's, like. Yeah. Oh, man. If, if you know your wiggling lovely crits. Englishman. <laughs> All Range right. one shot, two hits, two blanks. Nothing he can do about that. Uh, I two. think he forgot the Sabrine trigger, by the way. Uh, I think he did, too. Yep, two hits. Two hits onto gray, yellow, one hull down. All of his shields down. Should have five hull remaining. Yep. Then gray squadron will fire back. Um, yeah, man, that double stress, I think... We're, really would have helped. I know that, that Maul still has the force, but just being able to limit some of that damage economy. Right, and the and the arc moving, too. If he ever does have to take white maneuvers or, or red maneuvers, dub, double stress really does hurt those. Because as we've talked about in the first round with the Sith, with the double Sith infiltrators, um, they really rely on having their arc. Two, Two hits. hits. Coming in into Droid Orange. He's, uh, yeah, you go ahead and spend yep. uh, safe. Whose calculate is that? That would make that yellows. yellows. Yep. Yellows calculate. They take no damage. And these are the double tap from dorsal turret. For just one, or excuse me, the ion turret. Yeah. Ion just turret. one. And has calculates around? He has uh, checking pink's calculate. Does he checking have it? For pink's calculate. So he'll just go He's ahead and it. spend his own. Yeah. Take no damage from that. And of course, no ion tokens. What? That still doesn't help. It's ion. Okay. It's called disabled power disabled regulator. Power there regulator. it is. <laughs> uh. <laughs> righty. Wow. So Maul has three hull left. Is that correct? Uh, Maul would have three He's, hull left. Yes. Okay. And here comes White back into uh, White back into uh, gold or gray orange there. Uh, getting two hits after spending Pink's Calculate. Gold Orange will take two more damage. He's down to three. Plink, plink. And then Orange, Vulture Orange into nothing. Gray Orange for nothing. No Calculate's available. And last one, Green from downtown. One crit. Just one. Oh. Goes right through. I think that's the first paint Mike's rolled on that. Wounded, wounded Pilot. Wounded. So down to two there. Yep. I mean, on one die, it's always, like, the percentages are really low on a single die to get, right. to get an evade. So, like, when it doesn't come up on one agility ships, I'm usually not too upset because it's like, you know what? It's, mm -hmm. It is I what mean, it that's, is. I mean, that's one of the things that you buy those ships for is for their consistency yeah. in terms of what you expect that they're going to survive against. Um, and when it, when it comes up green or when it comes up paint, then you're happy. Yep. If it doesn't come up paint, you haven't, you know, spent Vader prices for three blank greens. Yeah. It's never going to be something that's super disappointing. So that y wing, I think we're definitely going to see. Has he tossed both of his proton bombs now? Because I think he tossed one at the beginning of the Let's at take, the beginning of engagement. Take a peek. No, I don't think so. Right here. Yes, She's indeed. Got one left. There it is. Uh. No, actually, I think that is dead red. Oh, that though. dead. <laughs> I think that's dead red, and this is where he's. Been. No, because that's got a, That's the dead one there. I don't know. Well, they both they look both like they have one, one face charge up. up. Okay, so that proton bomb must have cut. That second proton bomb must have come from a K wing on that first round. Yep. You know what? Let's talk about that. We've got a good yeah. question from the chat. What is the cover Atlanta SOS meter well, about that we well, have? Well, uh, we crushed exceeded? it. Yeah. So. Uh, so Isofan helped us out. So we're working on covering costs, the Atlanta system open. And um, 
Looks looks like we hit we hit the goal. Mm -hmm. um, well, I guess mostly, right? Because we sh we shared. So I guess I'm a little yeah. I'm a little bit off. Little under. L little under. Uh huh. But uh, and we're but, still working towards the uh, sub goals for the Denver system open. Yes, absolutely. We will be doing giveaways after this round. Right yes. now that we are back because of the stretch goals. Because of Ryan. Yes, we got because of Ryan. We we're able to, to finish up. We're gonna do giveaways from both round three and round four. We got a lot to do. We got a lot. We got a lot, a lot of work to do. A lot of happy people going to be out there. Uh huh. So keep commenting in chat. Let's see some activity here, just to be to be ready for those giveaways. That's all you have to do to be eligible. And we'll have more instructions coming soon. <laughs> Isofan is the hero. He's the hero <laughs> we needed, not the one we deserved. Brian is the hero we needed. <laughs> So if, if you want to, uh, somebody's asking, how, how do you donate to help cover the cost? Um, it's very easy. You, there's a button on Twitch. Uh, if you scroll down, there's a little BB-8 saying do donate here. You click through there, and your donation in, a, in your message pops up on the screen. All right, let's, I'm very interested to see where these vulture droids go this round uh, because here indeed is the last proton bomb. Um, you've got to have you got to expect that Darren is expecting this, mm -hmm. um, and I, I if I, if I were him, I would be maneuvering to try to minimize the effect of that bomb as much as possible. Got the proton bomb going in the side. Maul coming back down after being marked. Yep. You know, I like the idea of a magnetic, uh, the magnetic bomb dropper, but I would probably place the token first. Like, this is just me thinking. Yeah. Or you place it first and you use the magnet to get it out. Like, pop it. Yeah. Beam me up, Scotty. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> or have the, uh, no, 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 you have the, uh, like, the magnet, an electromagnet connected Ooh. to a magnet on the bomb. So you can uh. put the template in and then disconnect, you disconnect your dropper. Yep. Uh, looks like a three straight from Pink. Just getting out of there. No yep. bomb. No bomb for him today. He's the one that's about to die. Uh, so I get that. Yep. I get his trepidation. One straight. Uh, one K, excuse me, uh, from Orange. Look, looking to be ready to engage uh, the K wing there. Or the Y wing if it moves ahead. But then have a three hard turn from White. Whee. The strength of these bombs uh, against the Separatist Swarm, even when they're not actually doing much damage, is something like this, uh, where you see Darren making maneuvers to separate his formation and scatter, which negates some of the advantages that those droids have mm -hmm. uh, with their networked calculations. Uh, so he's not going to be able to, like, for example, white and pink will not have networked calculations available to them. Uh, white is going to take that bomb to the face and reload his energy shell charges. Yep. Five straight. I mean, he's he's full, yellow. so like, there's there's no double damage thing that can right. can hurt him and stuff like that. Weaver Act, thank you so much for your donation. A reload on the energy shell charges from Yellow as well. And a one K turn from Green, just narrowly missing that rock. Some perfect flying. Yes, yeah, so let's get those shell charges reloaded. Just white, I think, is is still to go. Three bank from that Y wing, just getting as much space as he can. Likely to see a turret rotate to yep. the rear just to get some. Try shots to get some off. shots out there. Yep. He does have that wounded pilot, so a rotate. There it goes. Might stress him out. And there's a rotate to the back. Using that curled paw creatives turret. Indeed. Sponsor. Use Denver 19 code for 20% off. You haven't seen that in the bottom right hand corner. 20% off is a fantastic deal. Yep. He never has those. The other only ones I've ever seen on your stream are 15. Yeah, he's always done 15. The only other time he's done 20, it was another another big event. I don't remember. That's right. It was a few it, streams ago. You it, heard it here. Denver is a big deal. <laughs> Yes. One bank from Maul. He is going to be taking that bomb. Another proton bomb. Darren, Darren, he feels like I'm in the lead. Um, though losing Maul could could hurt quite a bit. 
Because especially if, especially if you also get some of those Trade Federation drones mm -hmm. down within striking distance. It was my knock open. That's what it was. There it is. Then we have a target lock from Maul. Just really wants to put that last damage in. Uh, there is a wounded pilot. Wounded. Yes, the wounded pilot stress. Look at all those tokens. Yeah, wow. Bomb's going to go off. Going to catch Droid White, catch Maul, catch Droid Orange. There could be some pain here. Here we come. All right, so we got we got to watch here. Yes, we do. Here's White. White. All right, now if the crit is still, we can see that that's damaged a damaged engine. engine. He's uh, debating whether to use Sabine. That's the pile of tokens that he has left. Uh, I don't think that's the right target to use Sabine. Unless a tractor beam is advantageous. Maybe a stress. But I would rather double stress Maul. Yeah, agreed. He still has it available. Mm -hmm. I think that's the right call. I think yeah. you double stress Maul right now. Because it's any enemy ship within range one. Right. It might just be any ship. You might be able to do it to yourself, too. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, looks like he's holding off on the Sabine trigger right Here's there. Orange. Orange takes loose a loose stabilizer. stabilizer. Excellent bomb from Mike, from Mike Winnick right there. Uh, and then he is going to... He's debating that he's going to double stress Orange. An interesting choice. And then we have a console fire onto Maul. Just, 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 another, just another crit. What's the other thing he has? He's Damage sensor, tractor right? Tractor Maul. Look at that pile of tokens. <laughs> there are, what, six tokens on Maul right there? He's got a lot. Here's the range two, though, from Maul into gray red. So, console fire triggers first. Mm hmm. Oh. Mi missed the. Con there you go. There you go. They remembered. The Takes hit. a hit. One hit left Down on Down to Maul. one. Hit and a crit into gray. Spending the target lock. And got it. Three, uh, two hits and a crit. One of those should be a crit. Yep. And there it goes. Gray squadron red, or gray squadron orange, excuse me, <laughs> is uh, is down for the count. And there's a second disabled power regulator. See, I would have put the ion onto Maul right there. That would have given him three ion tokens. That's very uh, true. With, with, the, with the Sabine trigger. See, this is where I really would have liked to see those double taps earlier in this game. Well, here we go. This, you know what? The ion might not, might not matter because if green, this K wing could just take out Maul. Well, it, it, exactly. But right. that, like, if he had double here tapped we go. against that's two. there's two, that's and that's, two. that's it. That's it. Yep. Uh, if we had double tapped against uh, gray orange when he had the chance earlier in this game, mm -hmm. then he he wouldn't have had to waste that shot. That's very true. Right? He could have come back in. Uh, and, and taking a shot against that goal, against that Warden Squadron pilot while he still had the chance. Now let's go, let's go ahead and reset here a little yes. bit. Like I know, like Darren is ahead, 147 to 92, but having this K wing alive and it's pretty beefy still. It still has yep. a shield left. Mike is still in this game. We still have all of our proton bombs up. I think from that one. Here we go. Only uh, one only hit one coming hit. in from the green. And it is Got an evade there. That's there. There's that evade. Hasn't come uh -huh. up yet. So the two, the so 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 what I think is going to keep. Darren uh, into this game are those two reloaded energy shell charges right there. Uh, coming back into the fight in, in an expeditious manner is going to help him stay ahead. Absolutely. Uh, because indeed, you are absolutely right. With those uh, with those vulture droids heavily damaged, uh, they are split apart right mm -hmm. now. Uh, the three green, yellow, and pink cannot benefit from each other's calculate tokens right now. Right. And so let's, let's go ahead, little, little damage assessment mm -hmm. here. We got one hole left there. You got one hole left here. Uh, this one is full, yellow is full, and white has two. So, I mean, he's got a pretty mm -hmm. good line of probably getting uh, orange here at the top. Right. And try to take that out. See, really what we've got, what I see when I see that is bomb, bomb, PS kill. You know, something like that. Mm -hmm. uh, so with a proton bomb still in the can, or even a, uh, that's not the one with the seismic charge. Uh, but even with, with the proton bomb still in the can, I think he's able to put that kind of damage through if yeah. he can keep arc, if he can keep shots moving, uh, and if Darren doesn't block him to high heaven, which <laughs> I think is a real possibility here, because we've seen those, uh, we've seen those vulture droids are really good at doing just that.
Thank you, everybody who tuned in, who has continued to tune in mm -hmm. through our technical difficulties this round. Yeah, it's, I, you guys, we I really mean, you, appreciate for sticking it. around, you guys are really the best. You guys are the champs. As I mean, we're both fairly veteran streamers. That is the worst thing that yep. can happen. <laughs> is when a technical issue like that completely derails the entire day. But we're back That's thanks right. to Ryan's heroism. We are, I think we're set for the rest of the yeah, day. Yeah, I honestly think we're going to be really good. Uh, we def definitely have some taping to do because the the court is just kind of draped around the edging here. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised nobody's tripped on it yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Knock on wood, guys. Yeah. Is, this, is this real wood? Is this wood, please? Huh? Huh? Please? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, there we Knock go. Knock on wood. Perfect. <laughs> All righty, so Green Vulture is in a position to try to block here. Uh -huh. Now, do you think do you think he could clear a two-turn there against that rock, or is that going to hit him right in the middle? Mm. I don't think he I can don't do. think, I don't so. think, I think he can. So he would have no to maintain roll there. the stress and take a one hard turn, which is still a very solid maneuver because oh, there's yeah. not a lot that the K – because the K-Wing can't, also can't clear a two-turn left, I don't right. believe. Um, so that would also be a very solid move to keep him blocked up, which is what Darren wants to do. Has to retain his firepower advantage for as long as possible. Yeah, we, we got we got gaff tape, man. It's just, we, we, we needed to make sure we jumped into the game. Yes. So. All right, we're back up to 500. Yes. And again, Perfect. We, it's it. We always get crushed when when stuff goes wrong. People are like, oh, well, well I'm out. Uh -huh. We were we were we were close to a thousand. We were so we, we so were close. we, we were so close. close. Uh, two straight from Vulture Green right there. Just gonna go ahead and reload the energy shell charges. Oh. One K turns. Yep. That's one K. So good. And so it's. It's They're, so good, and sometimes it's, it's so, so bad. bad. When you want to try to get around right, the ship, sure, right. yeah. In instances like this where you want to keep uh, keep as close as you can to your opponent to keep the pressure on, uh, that is exceptional. But sometimes it's also pretty bad. Uh, four straight from that one. That is blue on the Vulture George Dryer. We're just going to go ahead and clear one of those stress. Just one at a time. Exactly. One by one, and then we have another 1K. Oh, uh, no, it's a two-talon roll. I wonder why we didn't see the 1K right there. It's uh, getting him out just a little bit further. Again, Maybe it gives him a little bit of a 50-50 right now. You can choose to go left or right. I like it. That's very true. Uh, here comes the K-Wing right into the mail. Right stream. into the teeth. Likely to see an arc rotate just to get some shots this round. because he's got to be putting the damage in. Again, Darren does, or excuse me, Mike does have the opportunity to plink some of these low health shits mm -hmm. and get right back into this game. Uh, but he has to do it quickly. He has to yeah, do it before 10, the energy 10 minutes. shells can be brought back to bear. Uh, he has to do that. Yes, exactly. He's got 10 minutes uh, to bring, what's that, 20, 40. He has to kill three. And it 60 points. is in range three, maybe. It's close. Yeah, hold on the ships. Oh, don't, don't you dare start. <laughs> don't you dare. <laughs> that about gave me a heart attack, but we do have the range three. Yep. Are we going to fire barrage rockets? I think he's going to fire some barrage rockets. There it is. Popping charge out. Firing barrage rocket. Here we go. Barrage. And two there's hits. just two. No bullseye. Pink only has one haul left. Oh, oh, third time. Third time. <laughs> That's the third time that Pink has done that, I know. too. Pink is a monster. Pink is a monster. Now we got a couple two die primary attacks coming back in at Warden Green. He goes, What's the phrase? Duncan say, <laughs> Hey, there's, there's there's two green natties from a Warden. There it is. Dodging all so, damage right I, I there. I can do it, two. too. I can do it too. <laughs> All right, uh, no damage, there. and a range three, and one hit. one hit there, and we've got one of eight. Okay, a whole round of no damage from anybody. Whew. But I think that's 
better for Darren than it is for Mike. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Cause, for cause again, sure. Mike is behind on this damage race uh, and, and now giving Green an, oppor an unmolested opportunity to have reloaded his energy shell charges and keeping and making him then waste more shots on the pink. <laughs> now, here's, here is a, a game awareness note that I want to talk about here. Uh, just also note, when they call time, these players have an extension, so our time is going to keep going here. But um, when you're, I think it's always really important to be aware of where you are on the clock. Like, I know that we said, like, Mike is, Mike, the execution of time is in Mike's court right now. You want to try to get your dial down as soon as possible. I know that you have a lot to think about, but even just having the dial on the table with, a, like, I'm pretty sure this is the move I want. Uh-huh. It kind of increases the clock for your your opponent. Like, oh, he's ready to go. I want right. it. Like, it's it's something small, but you want to try. If you're behind on points and you're low on time, uh -huh. you need to try to, to to maximize that. It's an interesting phenomenon. Sometimes the less ships that are on the table for myself or my opponent is when I find it's when I find myself deliberating harder over decisions, sort of getting analysis yep. paralysis sometimes, and I have to tell myself to stop doing yep. that. Especially when I'm behind on the clock. Yep. I mean, where is that? Where is that K wing going? Then is just going to inch forward and I, just try to kill Pink? She's like, I, I, he wants Pink. Just get it. Just try again. Yeah. <laughs> What's the crit there on uh, on White again? Damaged, Damaged engine. engine. Damaged engine. We're fine. Everything's fine here. Um, so this is this is gaff tape. But it's it's so it's it's a, it's significantly stronger than duct tape. So just because I don't want you to break anything for you. So just. <laughs> All right, there's a two straight clearing that last stress. Still has the crit, but we're going to go ahead Flips and flip down. that down. Uh, that was on orange, flipping down the loose stabilizer. It has been loosed. It has been tightened. The stabilizer has been tightened. Uh, two straight. Mm-hmm. I think we might see a barrel roll calculate there. Because the K-Wing because the K-Wing could, you know, squirt past. Yep. Nice. Right. Two straight. Covering the ground there. Mm-hmm. And oh look at this. Get this. Probably a two straight. Yeah. <laughs> Come at me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I am pink. Do you know who I am? I am Skynet. <laughs> 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 the invulnerable <laughs> droid. <laughs> My goodness, that droid has taken so much damage. And that seems to be a, a turn. turn. A two-turn down towards That's the bottom. Block. That is a block. An unfortunate block because that might turn him out of arc completely. Yep, it's depending close. Depending on how far around that goes. Uh, I would might be have wanted to train track that a little bit harder, but it looks like he's still got arc barely on pink. Go ahead and measure that, and indeed he does, yeah, he so does. we'll take that shot. No barrage rockets, those are all down, but he does still have that primary weapon. Thanks for two hits. Two That's hits. What need. Hey, are we gonna see a fourth a fourth time? <laughs> Just do it again. Nah, uh, he's, he's, got, he's the got the calculate. He's fine. <laughs> He's fine. I don't take damage. <laughs> the little vulture that could. Oh, my goodness. D All right. Firing back with two reds. Darren needs to build a little, little they're 3D printing a little crown mm -hmm. and put it on that one. So no damage there. Here comes yellow. Range one. Range three one. Dice. So no need to burn those energy shell charges right now. Two, two hits. hits. One Takes one. Six hull left. No shields Shield on the board. down. Four minutes and 20 seconds left. Mike is just, or excuse me, Darren is just not doing the damage right now. He's he's still he's still very much in the lead, but it's it's proving difficult to put down this last warden because all of those vulture droids had to splinter. 
Uh, yep. That formation had to splinter to start avoiding the bomb. All right, we got about four minutes left. Darren asking for probably a damage update. Mm -hmm. Does he have? Does he does have? A bomb left, I think. He does have a bomb left. So and I would drop it. <laughs> Let's say Pink is being promoted to super tactical droid after this. <laughs> Agreed. That is I think that's absolutely true. He's done so much. He has, if nothing else, wasted so many of Mike's red dice. Number pink, a unique, unique droid. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got as many droids as possible trying to get their energy shell charges off, uh, trying to put some final damage back in onto that K-Wing. Because that's all they need. Darren just got to get arcs. All right, just double checking here. Mm-hmm. Alt art card. Number pink alt art card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Win defending. Roll two of eights. Roll two of eights. <laughs> There's the last bomb. There we go. Chat's vindicated. There it is. So it's going to be threatening yellow and white there. <laughs> I'm not. Frosted card. I'm not going to wait. Sorry. I'm not going to do that. That's. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. For memes, I'm not going to spend that kind of money. A two-turn from Pink there. He's going for the block. That's a blocking maneuver from Pink right there. Oh, yeah. He's trying to cover ground. I think the hard left two on, on the K-Wing probably gets him out. And he has the back arc open. So. Right. We're going to see that looks like maybe a five straight. Yep. Just getting out. Because Darren knows he's ahead if he doesn't have to give up those points. Yep. And he doesn't have to give up the points. So let's walk back just a little bit. Yep. Um, and... Uh, Talk about how we got to this situation yep. because somebody in the somebody in the chat did did point out Mike's decisions got him here, but the dice did make it worse. And we have yep. had some pretty serious variants, um, but that's not alone what decides the game. Mm -hmm. I think that Darren had some had a really good first engagement, being able to drop a bunch of energy shell charges at Agreed. once, and that's something that the that these one agility rebels have very little answer before. Yeah, Before, it, have very little answer for. I can't talk, apparently. Right. Wow. It's okay. It's all right. Um, uh, another thing is, while Mike's list is a jousting list, it's susceptible to blocking, right? Right. So uh, because of the low maneuverability that the Y-Wings have, especially, and if the Y-Wings are in the way of the K-Wings, which is what happened, Darren was able to just cascade these blocks right. and make Mike eat his own bombs mm -hmm. and just be taking unmodified shots without having any focus target locks out there. Uh, and I think that's what really hurt Mike in that mid-game. And there's Absolutely. a time has expired. Mm -hmm. There's the two hard turn left from that K-Wing. Is this it? Can we finally get Pink off the board? No. Just <laughs> <laughs> so gonna call it right All now. Right. I will make that alt, the alt art card for Pink if it lives. If it lives, if it lives right round. here. Can it get to the end? This, it'll be dedicated to Darren. No damage from that bomb. Fun, fun little meme card uh -huh. for Pink. All right, there's the shot. Three. Ooh, there it is. Dead. Okay. There it is. Nope. No card necessary. <laughs> oh, no. He I tried say, really hard. I, he, he tried so <laughs> he hard. He tried so hard. If that man, if that had only You know what? Two. Still ends with two of eights. Though. Absolutely. <laughs> As is tradition from Vulture Droid Pink, it still ends with two of eights. 
but a fantastic yeah. game. And they're just they're just calling it right there. Darren Granger coming out ahead of Mike as we finish up round four. Yeah. Very well played. Absolutely. So congratulations to Darren. We got giveaways to do. We got giveaways galore. Now, we we are expired on time. <laughs> what? Your your pauldron that you're My building. What? <laughs> I didn't bring any Gold Squadron stickers. This is a shame. I didn't know that Asa would, would sticker himself. So um, we're going to go ahead and get the giveaway machine ready to go. Um, actually, we need to reset it because of all the internet right. disconnections. <laughs> it's, it's like looking, trying it's to looking connect. for people. But uh, yes, everybody who is uh, chatting in chat right now, you know what to do. But for those of you who need a refresher, uh, we're just going to go ahead and tell you that in order to participate in this chat, uh, in this chat, what? I Nothing. don't know what I'm doing. Nothing. I, don't, I, don't, I didn't see anything. In order to participate in this giveaway, all you got to do is be active in chat, so be spamming gunboats, be paying your respects to those poor Y-Wings. Co correct, correct. I need, I need, need those gunboats. Mm -hmm. uh, I do want to remind you guys that last this round was brought to you by Curlpaw Creatives. Use that code DENVER19 to get all your tokens and templates, and our giveaway section is brought to you by District Foundry. Use that code DENVER19. It's like mm -hmm. it's like we coordinated or something. Exactly. To get 15% off of your uh, of your order. No no minimums on there. Things like these awesome trays and stuff, which we're going to be giving away tomorrow. Awesome. You know what, Asa? While I do the giveaway, yeah? just, just like this, like I'll just I'll just van away. You just want something to put me free to put in front of the stickers. <laughs> <laughs> no. All right, come on, giveaway machine. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> There's your lovely the, Englishman. There's my lovely Englishman. <laughs> oh man, it's not working. What are you what are you doing? I'm gonna have to reset the giveaway machine, guys. Sorry. <sighs> Come on. Look at all of these storage look, options. Look at, he does actually have a deep version of this tray. This is only about half an inch deep, uh, but it does have like a, a three, four inch deep version of this tray that you can use to store anything and everything that you might want. Uh, hanger bay lists for a day two at a system open. Yeah. Oh, that's, nice. That is absolutely fantastic. He even has, uh, for those of you who are wondering, where do I put my long range ruler? Right there's a here. There's, there's a, pass a pouch. Do there we, is. Do we have... No, we've, we've got, we got a, we a got storage those. right here. Ah, we we were able to return the, the missing range ruler to yes. somebody. All right, so is uh, are we ready? Ew. It's still loading up. It's just loading up. Keep talking. Keep, keep being keep active talking. because we did have to just reset that. Yep. Uh, so. so we're giving you some time. Uh, let's also say thank you to um, Modest Orange Gaming, another sponsor that we have, making. I'm gonna call this more boxes. More uh, conversion kit. Holder, yes. All right, travel a uh, conversion kit travel case. Mm -hmm. I don't know what the technical name is. <laughs> Look up orange, <laughs> orange, orange, uh, orange, uh, gaming. orange gaming. All your dials, everything you need for any of your conversion kits in there. Uh, cards, all the things. Now this will fit the entirety of a rebel, imperial, or scum conversion kit. So if you're looking for something to use for your first order in resistance, one of those will fit both, and they are stackable. There are indentations for that hinge on the bottom, so you can get multiple. Now let's take a look at the other District Foundry goodies Ooh. that we have. Now this isn't available for sale yet. The only way to get this is for winning our giveaway. That's right. At the end of when are we going to be doing that? Do you know? Uh, the, the final. Final this round. Is, he said. He said. Wait. Finals. finals. All right. Make them. Make them want it. Make them want it. Make them want it. Do you want it, Chad? I know you want it. Okay. <laughs> We've got some eligible users now. Let's. Shall we let's, start with round three giveaway? So we're, we're, yeah. Here's <laughs> round three. We're just going to combine them together. Yeah. Actually, we should probably keep them separate uh, for my organization. All right. Here we go. So here we go. So uh, first one in here, we'll, we'll do. We'll do. Let's keep with tradition. Let's do that Finch. All right, here we go. First Finch. Finch, Finch is always Finch is first. first, right there. Finch is first. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Roll it. Usharan. 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 Uh, if you are not familiar with how to do, just comment exclamation point win if we call your name for this chat. Comment exclamation point win and you will get a link to a Google Doc to claim your prize. Next prize, the FFG Pro official Alt Art Tor Proton Torpedo Cynical, Cynical Gaming. Gaming. Congratulations. Been following since February 7th, 2019. Thank you very much for following. You get a Proton Torpedo and now we have the Dion Morales. <laughs> The Muralo the, the, Invalid card. Yeah, that's right. A little, little, little fun there. If you if you have no no what idea what this is about, look up our wisdom teeth. My wisdom it's teeth video. It's one of the funniest things I've ever seen in my life. It's it's great. Here we it's go. It's worth a watch. Let's roll it. 
Dacurus986. Comment exclamation point win in the chat to claim your prize. We're moving through these real quick. Oh, yeah. Now, this one this is... This is really cool. So this is from Onyx Squadron. This is from their Christmas tournament. Like, oh, Christmas was so long ago. Honestly, I actually lost this tin in my yeah. house. I wasn't sure. I have a bunch of... Uh, uh, not a bunch, but a few of these cards. And this is awesome. It's a Christmas Kylo. Foiled as well. Foiled Look at that. Christmas Look at that, Santa. He, he brings joy to everybody in the first order. Joy. Brings joy and lightsabers to everybody. Let's roll it. Here we go. Three, two, two one. one. Who's, who's winning that? T. Costanti. Congratulations to T. Costanti. Comment exclamation point win. Once again, exclamation point win to get that. You have to fill out the Google Doc to the letter line by line or else the post office won't know what to do with it. Nobody wants that. So don't make your postman Correct. mad. Fill it out correctly. Keep commenting. We've got a whole nother round of cards. Now, this is some of the fat stuff. What do we have here? All right, so this is for round four. We got some more some more uh, cards. Let's do these. And then, oh, well, 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 that's the last one. Oh, for, yes. For the, for, for the oh, cards. Yes. So we'll, we'll go. They'll be like, oh, my God, I want it. Yep. All right, so here we go. Dio, another Dio Morallo. Here we go. Three, two, two one. one. B O A D. I don't know how to pronounce that. I'm very sorry, but B O A E D, B E O A E D. Congratulations! Comment exclamation point win. Now let's give away another Finch. Another Three, Finch. Two, one. Maze Rim. Congratulations! I know you are one of our followers as well on Back yes. to Dials. Very well done. Congratulations ooh, ooh, on winning been this. Been following since 2017, Con baby. Oh yeah, man. He's everywhere. He's got all of us covered. Three, two, one. There is Iden Onyx Verso. Iden Verso. R F Dexy. R F following since Dexy. 2018. Congratulations. I know who that is. All right. Please comment Hold exclamation on, point win. We have an announcement. Oh, they're just looking for a missing okay. missing results. Missing I results. Think. Are you go official gray squadron, double sided and bounty hunter. Yeah. Okay. This is Full from alt art cards. This is from wave one. Uh, the wave one kit. Here we go. Three, two, one. Boom. Kiar still. K I A R S T I L L. Okay, and our last two, we have the. Uh, these aren't available. And this, literally, I have maybe like 10 of these left. Really? All right. So here is the Gold Squadron Redline card. Ooh, look at that. Now, if you know his his uh, his lore, he's actually like kind of crazy. Yeah. He's a crazy dude. So we tried to look represent that, crazy that dude. <laughs> That's how angry he was at losing his uh, <laughs> his advantage. Here we go. Three, two, two one. one. Una jinga. Yeah. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Una jinga. U Sounds N -A right. U-N-G. Unga jinga. That's unga. it. Unga jinga. That has a nice like, rhythm to it. Unga, unga, unga jinga. <laughs> All right. And our last one for our cards here, the Gold Squadron exclusive Frosted Poe Dameron, look baby. Look at that plastic semi-transparent. Mm. You can see Dion's marvelous fingers there behind you go. that. And you'll be able to see the ground beneath your opponent when you crush them Who wants with Poe Dameron. Do you Who want wants it? that? Do, Do you, you want, want I want it. I'm not eligible. No. <laughs> <laughs> In three, two, two one. DJS Athan. DJS Athan. Well Done. Congratulations for getting that prize. Remember I think, did they just pair round five? Oh, drops. Rocks. They're looking for drops. Okay. Okay, easy, baby. So we thank, still got a little Thank bit of you time. for having our back. Thank you. All right. <laughs> okay. Once so again, if you have won one of those, be sure to remember what you've run. One, be sure to comment exclamation point win and fill that Google Doc out to the letter. Dio cool. needs as much information from you as possible. Yep. You get one chance for it to be shipped. You get one. One. Just one. <laughs> All righty, and now we, we got to go back to our stretch goal prizes. Yeah. We need to give away that template tray, Coruscant Invitation. We've done all these other ones. I need a way to, like, check these off. Yeah. You know what? I don't wait. Oh, round, round five. five. We got oh. to keep moving. We got to go. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, hey, stick around, stick around, though. We'll give that away after round five. <laughs> yeah, round five. We'll give so, that away after round five. Maybe these technical issues have just pushed us so oh. far back. But we are solid now. Uh, as we get those back up, I'm going to send Dion to go get that parent. I'm yep. going to start taping for my life. Please do. Yep. All right, we'll be back. We'll be back. Thank you.